So, <laughs> I'm looking kind of beat up right now. I have on gym clothes, no makeup, my hair, just whatever. Um, but I decided to do a Get Ready With Me video. And this is an interesting one. The scenario is, at least. So, I started taking these workout kind of ladies liberation dance classes um, at my local dance studio. It's really cool because they have all these like fitness based classes but they're fun. So like you can do Zumba, you can do pole dance, you can do lap chair dance. And I've always loved to dance. I don't know if you knew that about me. Um, when I was in college, you might not believe this, but I was actually on the step team. I was on the Caribbean dance team. I did a little bit of Indian dancing, a little bit of African dancing. I'm not like professionally trained, but I just like to dance. So I, so as you guys know, I'm getting married this year, and I really need to kickstart kick my fitness <laughs> to get back into it. So I decided to just kind of go outside my comfort level and take these naughty fitness classes by myself. I didn't even bring a girlfriend or anything. Um, so it's really cool because I really feel like I'm embracing my sexy and, you know, going out of my comfort zone. Because so usually I would like bring girlfriends to this class, but they're really busy, and I was like, girl, you don't need them. You can... You can go and do this on your own, but of course I am hoping to get them to come to classes with me later on. Um, so I have I've been taking a lot of these classes for lap chair dance, and um, I'm potentially going to be in a dance performance for the group. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> so um, usually when I go to class, I'm going to work out clothes, hair and ponytail, no makeup. I'm going to mix it up, and I'm going to do makeup, like dance makeup today. So when I think of dance makeup... I think waterproof, you want to last, you want it to be like, I would automatically think dancers wear red lips and kind of lashes, like, at least that's what I, um, kind of seen on popular culture, like, because you need to see the face from far away. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is my brows. So, lately I've been using my Ofra semi-permanent, semi waterproof brow gel, that's what it's called. So, um, it really lasts. I actually went um, zip lining last weekend. It was kind of hot. Um, and I wore this, which is the Ofra semi-permanent waterproof eyebrow gel and khaki. I wore this and my um, brows didn't go anywhere <laughs> at all. Even though I was like swinging through trees and sweating and all that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just take this random um, eyeliner brush. I think it might be from Cosmetics. I got it like a long time ago. This is just what I happen to have handy. And whenever you do your brows or your liner with like a gel product, you want to clean it beforehand because when you have residue on the brush, it just makes it so much harder to get a straight line and a clean result. So I've already done a tutorial on my brows using this product. So if you want to see that, I'll link it below. It's much more detailed. So if any of you guys are ever in Atlanta, I definitely recommend you take these ladies liberation classes at, it's called Dance 411. They're really famous actually, like anytime there's like an Atlanta reality show that has to do with them going to a pole class or anything like that, it's film, It's filmed there, and I think they might have had like a brief stint on a reality show featuring the kids dancing there. Alright, so when it comes to the fronts of my brows, I prefer a gradient, but not like a square gradient, like I like the edge to be a little bit more rounded, like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and brush that kind of out a little bit with a brow gel. So let's use a lighter brow gel. This time I'm going to use the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. This is a really old one. The caramel color. I don't, the packaging doesn't even look like this anymore. But I do this to kind of more evenly disperse the product. As well as lighten my brow hair a little bit because my hair is blonde, not dark. Well, it's not blonde. It's kind of on the honey side. So this kind of lightens my brows a little bit. This is the Pro Pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do this because it's quick and easy. So I outline again. Just to kind of clean up the shape. When you do the concealer, you can kind of mess with the brow shape just a little bit. Because I felt like it was a little bit too thick um, right here at my arch. So 
I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner. Alright, then I'm going to just blend out that concealer with just like a concealer brush. It's just a random one that I keep in my eyebrow drawer. Blend it down because you don't want to see like the edge of where the brow concealer is. Like that halo effect's not cute. Okay, so now um, let's go ahead and do the eyes and the concealer and all that stuff. So I'm just going to apply a uh, eye base. I just happened to grab one. This is the NYX eyeshadow base in white. palette right here that I kind of have been creating because um, it's kind of like potential wedding colors. Sneak peek right here. Look at this gorgeous silver sparkle Z palette. And I have some colors in here that might be potential eyeshadows for my wedding. So that's sneak peek. I haven't really quite decided what I want to do exactly. I have an idea, but um, the wedding tutorial will come in the fall as I get closer. So I'm just going to use this palette. Let's go ahead and take, these are Inglot eyeshadows right here. Let's take this really pretty sparkly bronze color. Oh my god. Pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that on the lid. Sometimes I fear that I'm going to do my morning makeup just like how I do my makeup all the time. And it's not going to be fabulous. It's a risk of always doing your makeup so much, you know, and doing it up as a makeup person that you won't look all that different for such a special occasion. But um, I'm going to take a risk and use these colors because I might as well get some practice in. Okay, so pretty like sparkly on the lid. And then on the, you know, crease transition, you got to do a crease transition. So I'm going to take this color right here. These little squares right here are from the one of the Afra Makeup Show palettes. And the reason why they're so um, really cool is because they're actually the same colors from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. They actually, this is probably, you know, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but they manufacture for a lot of really popular brands. A lot of popular products that you guys know and you buy at a higher price, <laughs> including these shadows right here. So they're really good. If you like this is my sweet, or if you like the sweet chocolate bar, whatever that's called, you're obviously like this because it's the same shadows. Okay, this is my technique: lid, crease transition, RV. So let's take um, let's take this color. This is like a medium brown with a little bit of gold sparkle. And in black. And I'm just going to buff into the outer V. This is like a, a new brush I'm testing out. Kind of doe foot brush. It's a really pretty pretty brown color. I got these shadows at PMAC convention, which is a professional makeup artist convention here in Atlanta. So I got the what is that, November of last year? I haven't been playing with them too much. Okay, and then we're going to deepen out the outer V. Let's take this, we'll take this brown, bronzy color. I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't want it to be too dark because I am going to a dance class. And I don't want them to be like, where are you going? <laughs> so just a little bit of darkness. Let's take this bourgeois big shadow. Love these little big shadows. And then I'm just going to apply it to my brow bone to just kind of mattify it and just kind of blend out that crease transition. This is a very invisible kind of color. It's just for finishing off the brow bone. And then we're going to take I'm going to take this really pretty silvery, not silver. It's like a really pale white gold and pop a little bit on the brow bone. Just the middle point, the highest point. I'm not putting a lot, just a tiny, tiny bit because again, I don't want it to be too much. Let me stick a little right here too. Really subtle. But 
just a little bit, a little something. Okay, that's one. I want something that's going to really last. Can't go wrong with Inglot number 77 gel liner, the black one. Um, I'm going to take this really skinny art, art supply brush right here. And like I said, whenever you have a gel liner or any kind of gel product, you want to clean your brush because it does not go the same if you have a used brush. Okay, whenever I'm using my gel liner, I always like flip it over so that way it's not exposed to the air. Like this. You can put the cap back on, but I'm too lazy for that. And flip it over so that way it doesn't dry out. And then wing it out, baby. You know what? I'm not gonna put liner on my lower lash line because I just know that it's gonna smudge, even though it's like really hardcore, stay proof. I'm not gonna do it. Um instead I'm going to apply just shadow. That's what I'll do. Um, let me come back to that because you know when you do your little lash line it always gets masked with the concealer and stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do for my concealer is the same thing I do every single time. If I can find it. And that is to... Correct. So this is the Ben Nye Corrector Crayon. I need to sharpen this because it is poking me. The, the little wood part. So, this is like the product I use every single time I do my makeup. I just love it. Holy grail, holy grail. So I'm going to use a new product today for my foundation. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me use it already. And it is the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops. Pretty cool, pretty cool. These are really, um, it's a really an innovative product. They're pretty much pure pigment. You drop it into whatever you have, moisturizer, to, the moisturizer, primer, foundation to make it more um, more coverage. You can adjust your shade depending if you get a lighter or darker custom cover drops. So what I've been doing, like my favorite combo is taking the CoverFX Illuminating Primer and then I uh, mix in the custom cover drops right here and it's shade G70 and then I apply it and I make, it's like I'm making my custom illuminating foundation. And it's really cool because you can do a lot of different things with it. So let me get a foundation brush. So like I said, I just mix it together. Quick, quick, one squirt of primer, maybe like, I put like three drops of that custom cover drops. And then all of a sudden I have foundation. And to me, this feels a little bit more lightweight than you know, like a regular foundation because you don't have all the other, other fillers in there. All it is is an illuminating primer and some custom drops. So, you're probably like, girl, that your foundation is way darker. I'm like, yeah, it is, but I can make it work because I don't like being this summer color. I mean, I don't like being this winter color. I don't like being pale. So, I'm going to fake it till I make it. So the more drops that you use, the more coverage you get. So I think I probably have like a medium coverage right now. I'm almost medium full. So one drop mixed in, like let's say you mix it in with your moisturizer. One drop is like a sheer tinted moisturizer. Two drops is medium coverage. Three drops is um, medium full. Four is like total coverage. And five is like glammed out. Five in terms of the number of drops you put on. It feels really nice and light because like I said, it's not foundation, it's just primer where I add color. If you have another foundation that you really like, let's say it's like more of a sheer foundation, just maybe add a few drops of this if you want to make it like full coverage. So you don't have to carry on all these different shades um, and different formulas for foundation. Alright, so looks pretty good. Now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use an old product I haven't used in a minute because... I need to. 
This is no. I need. I'm not going to use that because it's not a highlighter. Should I get that? Let me go ahead and use my. I'm all disorganized. Where is everything? I'll just use the Cover Effects Cream Concealer Medium. This is like the color I've been using all the time to do a highlight because I want to do something lighter than my skin, but not crazy obvious. And I used to use the shade light, but I feel like it's too bright for me right now. I'm trying to go for more subtle. So, I was like, I wish I had a damp beauty blender. I have to improvise. This is a beauty blender, and this is Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. So it's it's a little damp. It's not like as damp as I want it to be, but at least it's not dry. Blend that in. Totally forgot to do my lashes. I'm gonna go back for that. Alright, so see it brightens but it's not obvious. And it kind of brings back a little more realistic balance in my face since I'm really not this dark. Okay. Quickly, quickly set that with Perfect Illuminating Powder and Light. This is my go-to under eye brush, which is the, the um, Lux Essential Listed Oil Lace Cheek Brush. Love this. It's perfectly under here and it's so soft. This is like my, I use this all the time for this purpose. This, as well as my, um, if I do like a shimmer highlight, I use this brush. It's just perfect for it. I'm going to use my medium blotting powder from Cover Effects. I use this because it's kind of more tinted for my foundation color. And it's blotting, so it'll keep me matte where I want to be matte. Everywhere else I put the illuminating powder where I want it to be kind of more dewy and bright. Alright, see so how I kind of toned everything down a little bit? Then, let's do some contour. Uh, I should use my cream contour kit. I guess it's not too late. Let's use that kit because I want to kind of show off some of my newer products. So since I already put my powder, and you shouldn't really put powder, cream over powder, I'm just going to wet my face. Mario Badescu Rose Spray again. And then we're going to go ahead and do a quick contour using shade number four. I don't want anything like too, too um, cut, but I do want to contour. So it's kind of like I'm buffing this in as a more like a face warmth. And it's going to also make my face look slimmer where I want it to be. Okay. And then on, I'm just going to take my beauty blender. I just don't want the contour color to get where outside the lines, you know, because then it starts to look muddy and dirty. Okay, let's go ahead and set that. The bronzer. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. I'm gonna use my favorite blushes right now are definitely the Instain blushes from the Balm, and I do feel like these stay longer because they are like a stain in powder form. This is the shade Argyle. Just something basic, looks like a very pretty baby pink. Just add a little bit of color back to my face. If I'm confused. These are cocoa lashes. I just don't know the style, but they're a little bit more wispy. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. I like these because they are dramatic, but they're not all thick and stuff, so they don't 
they don't look like too much. So I'm using my House of Lashes eyelash glue. I got this a couple weeks ago because my other lash glues were like getting all clumpy like how they always do. So I like to put a little bit on my lash line. So that way when I apply this part, it kind of sticks to it and doesn't get all shifty. They still feel like they're a little long. They don't look bad. Okay. I'm going to make sure to trim this one because I was playing a little gamble there by trimming it knowing my glue is already almost dry. So I might have to reapply glue on this side. Usually I put mascara before because um that's brown mascara because um I don't like to get mascara on my lashes because then they don't last as long but all right so but yeah for the lower lash line we're not going to do like a black or anything but I want to put a little bit of a shadow to complete the look so I'm gonna place the the bronzy shadow with a small Kevin o what is this not Kevin O'Connor Billy B brush because I don't want it to be naked under there but I don't want it to be all dark liner that I know it's going to smudge. Just a little bit of something or something right here. What I should have done was put on lip balm first. My lips are a little bit chapped. I'm going to regret that later. We're going to apply red on me. Red because like I said I just think of red when I want to do a dancer's makeup and then also it's going to look um, really vampy and sexy. Mm. Let's take this NYX lip pencil and the shade Auburn. Auburn. Is that weird? Hip off the grease. Magnolia Ultra Matte and Dorothy got this at some makeup show and it is a gorgeous red. It's one of those liquid lipsticks too so you know it's going to last. Okay, so that is the Magnolia Makeup Ultra Matte and Dorothy in case you want to cop that because it's just too pretty not to. Alright, so let's curl these lashes together. And then I'm going to use my Preo Lash Curler, which I always use. I haven't been using it in a lot of tutorials though, but this is my Holy Grail Curler that curled my falsies with my regular lashes and you will never have a droopy lash ever again. This is something that's available in my Alcone at home web store, which I always link in the um, description box. So it just lifts your lashes up so you never have that droopy edge. And it just makes it look better when they're curled up. And since my lashes, my regular lashes are so straight, if I don't do this, they poke right down. 
All right, so time for some setting spray. Let's use, I was gonna use this gonna be, but I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Final Seal because I'm going to a dance class and I'm gonna be sweaty. I need something hardcore. Whew. When I do the sprays, I probably overspray, so this is what I do. But I do little oversprays. Okay, so this is the look. once before, but it was a long time ago. Well, so that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I need, because I use a lot of new products, so let me know if you have any questions about that. And I will have detailed pictures, product used on makeupbyrenner.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.